Being such a fantastic person as you are, you created amazing tileset. You imported it to Unity, changed its sprite mode to multiple and sliced it inside the sprite editor. Then you added tilemap to your level and created simple palette consisting of all the tiles you just created. And then you unleashed your creativity to create your amazing level. Just to realize that some sections look a little bit repetitive. Let's do something about it. Let's start by creating seamless wall texture. It's much easier to achieve that with round shape like I have. I literally just copy and paste it and rotate it from time to time. Of course I make sure to cover all the canvas. In order to get rid of the parts that are outside of the canvas, I simply select everything, cut it and paste it to a separate layer. Then I remove the previous layer. Now I use the offset filter to move the edges to the middle of the canvas. I paste the texture a few more times to get rid of the visible seams. I export the texture and import it to Unity. There is one important setting we need to adjust. In the advanced section we need to change the wrap mode to repeat, otherwise the rest of the tutorial will simply not work. Now we'll create simple shader graph. We go to create, shader graph, URP, sprite lead shader graph. I'll call mine tile map base. I open it and start by adding new parameter of type texture 2D. I call it base texture. I add sample texture to the node, then I drop our parameter into the graph and connect it to it. To be able to preview the result, I change the base texture default value to our wall texture. Now I need to add the position node, make sure its space is set to word, and then the tiling and offset node. I'm connecting the output of the position node to the UV input of the tiling and offset node, and then output of that node to the UV input of the sample texture to the node. Then the RBGA output of the sample texture to the node to our fragment base color input. I click on the Save Asset button and close the shader graph. I create new material and call it Cave Wall. Then I change its shader to our tilemap base shader. Then I drag and drop our material over the tilemap. Awesome. The material works as expected, just the texture is a little bit too small. Let's fix that. I reopen the shader graph and create a new parameter of type vector 2 and call it tile size modifier. I connect it to the tiling input of the tiling and offset node. Then I adjust its default value to 0 0.2, 0 0.2. I save the asset and exit the shader graph. Boom, everything works as expected. Because we apply texture over the whole tile map, it doesn't have sense to have multiple tiles. So I'm removing all of the tiles from the palette, delete their underlying assets, and in their place I create simple white square. I add it to the palette. Now whatever shape I will create, the texture will be applied over it. If you like this tutorial, don't forget to like this video and comment, and of course subscribe to my YouTube channel. Have a fantastic day, love you and bye bye.